Hello, today we're going to be talking about Microsoft Access and Forms specifically. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, the last lesson we took a look at reports in Microsoft Access. We created a new uh, report here. We did that by going to Create. And in the Create area, you saw these buttons. Notice that the buttons for Forms are very similar. And you're going to find that the process of creating a form and creating a report is very similar. Uh, so you might want to wonder what is the difference. A report is something that is meant to be printed out on paper or labels or something. Uh, a form, on the other hand, uh, is for uh, adjusting the interface of your database for your employees. Uh, now, while that's different, uh, the act of creating a form and a report is going to be quite similar. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, let's select first the table that we would like to use to build our form out of. So we'll select that table and we'll go to our create area and we can click form wizard. That can go through the step-by-step -step wizard process that we saw last time. But just so you could see what it looks like if you click one of the other buttons, I'm just going to click form. It's going to take all of the information from the table and create a form from it. All right, so I clicked form and it immediately took us into our uh, layout view. We also have our form view and our design view. These should look a little bit familiar based on uh, yesterday's lesson. Uh, but as I'm looking at this, uh, I can see right away that this is giving more data than I think I want to show uh, with everyone. For example, this ID field here. I don't know that I want that to be visible. Uh, I don't want, if somebody's helping me uh, input data, I don't know that I would like that to be visible uh, as the computer is going to automatically generate it. So I'm going to come to design view and I'm going to select and delete. Let's get rid of the whole row. All right. And that shifted everything up. That was beautiful. Uh, you can, of course, move stuff around. You can adjust the titles. So like I did underscore here, you don't necessarily need that in my little headers. I can come up here and give this a better title. Uh, Newbury Award Winning Book Input. All right. So let's go ahead and see how that looks. That looks great. All right, now I'd like to call your attention down here to the bottom left, we have a navigation scheme. Notice we're only seeing one record at a time, and you can navigate between those records by clicking these little arrows to see the different uh, records in our database. This uh, second button will take jump you to the last record, as this one will go to the first record. And you also have another one here, and this is to make a new record. So if we wanted our employees to add a new book to the list, we would click on that and notice you have a blank here, except for the year field, which gives you zero, uh, which is part of having a, a field defined as a number. And we could type in a new book. For example, the next book on our list would be Sarah, uh, Plain and Tall. So let's go ahead and put that in. I hope I spelled her name right. Not sure. That won the award in 1986 and that is a historical fiction. So this would be a way that your employees could enter data into the database without necessarily accessing everything you want them to see, and you could make this as friendly an interface as possible. Uh, and again, with the design view, you can come in and you can change your colors, you can change your fonts, you can change your spacing, you can move things around. All right, now we want to save our work. Uh, notice right now it's given the same title as the table it's based on, uh, so we obviously don't want that. Let's click Save. It's going to ask us for a save. Let's do a Newbury um, input form, and I'm going to end it with a capital F. That F identifies it as a form using our uh, access object naming convention. All right, so now that it is named, uh, we can go ahead and close that, and you can see that we are building the number of objects we have. Like reports, you can have as many forms as you need, though I don't know that you would need that many, to be perfectly honest. 